hey guys welcome back to my channel long time no see i feel like i have not been in front of the camera doing a hair video in forever if this is your first time welcome i'm donny i hope that you love it hair don't forget to subscribe before you leave but today i am doing bantu knot where i am from we call them corkscrews i am sure they they um, have so many different names throughout the caribbean but we're gonna go with bantu knots today so i have done this style many times um previously i would do it but not that often so i decided to revisit the style um this year i just wanted something a little different and i actually did a few things differently this time around and i think it really made a huge difference on the way that my hair came out so i'll share those tips with you um, once i show you how i achieve this look also used a new product line so curls dynasty i i've heard about them but never used them before so i used the entire line to achieve this look so i'll share with you uh, my thoughts on the products that i used as you can see i really love the outcome um the curls are super defined it is nice and moisturized honestly usually i am not a big like short hair girl I just feel like long hair looks better on me uh, if you've looked at my videos you know i'm usually doing twist outs and i've done um my wash and goes that i started doing and my hair is usually like big and longer but you know what you could switch it up every now and then so um yeah this is the style that i came up with if you're interested in seeing how i achieve it then just keep watching I use all products from curls dynasty i have actually never used this brand i just heard about it and of course you know good my good old curl box they had back in last year they had a non-subscription box with them i decided to grab um a box so i'll show you all of the products that i use the first um product they had the coconut mint moisture rich shampoo this is what it looks like and I actually liked this shampoo. No, I have to say, if you're not a fan of like strong mint scent, then you would not like this shampoo because this, the mint um, scent is really strong, as in burning your eyes strong. So if you are not a fan of mint, I would not recommend this shampoo, but I was really, really impressed because I was able to detangle with the shampoo in. It left my hair feeling so moisturized. So it definitely lived up to the name of uh, being moisture rich. Um, if I can detangle with a shampoo, it's a bonus. It's not a requirement, but I definitely appreciate that. So this shampoo was good. And I used, it was a little on the thicker side. It has this nozzle, but I usually, I use the nozzle, but I just poured it in my hand and then added it to my hair. I used about, I would say about hair, so maybe like half of it. Um, that's the only thing. This is maybe eight. Yeah, this is eight ounces. So I probably can get one more wash, maybe a wash, and I might have a little bit left. But I also shampoo my hair a minimum of three times. <laughs> I like to get my hair nice and clean. What I loved about this, not only did it leave my hair moisturized, it was it left my hair. I would say I've never felt this before with a shampoo, but when I rinsed it out and I detangled some of my hair, my curls were almost like separated and defined. Once I rinsed it out, trust me, I was really surprised. I was like, whoa, I, I can appreciate the, um, the level of moisture that this shampoo gave my hair. It has a lot of like fruit extracts. So it has aloe vera juice is the first thing. It has star fruit extract. Most of the ingredients are also organic organic peppermint oil it has hemp seed oil shea butter cocoa butter then it came with the give me slip blast hydration conditioner so this was the conditioner that came with it same size and i use i would say just about hair so almost half of it this was not as thick as the shampoo it wasn't terrible i was a little disappointed i should say because i expected what well, it said blast hydration so i expected to put this in my hair and i expected it to literally melt my knots i didn't get that i was able to detangle but it wasn't as easy as i was anticipating <laughs> um so it was okay it wasn't 
I can deal with it. I can deal with the, the conditioner. So that was the conditioner. I use the Pumpkin Mint Deep Treatment. This is their deep conditioning mask. Let me show you what it looks like. This also very, very strong peppermint um, scent. And it has like these little, I don't know if you can see these little specks. As you can see, I use quite a bit. I think I may be able to get one maybe two uses out of this but it does um give you that like peppermint oil tingle um which i like i appreciate that so the um the treatment mask was good i was able to detangle with this as well it definitely left my hair moisturized my hair right now i actually have the kalahari smoothie leave-in this i've used before so i've used the leave-in i used it like two times and as you can see, I don't think I use that much. So I have it in my hair right now. I'm also going to be using the Twisted Definition Twisting Cream. This I have also used twice. My hair has already been sectioned. And as I said, I put the leave-in already. So I did four sections. If you've watched my videos, you know I am a side part girl. But for this style, I try not to have too much of a defined <laughs> side part. So I usually just do... I guess what is this i don't know if this can be considered a semicircle so i do this so if i want to wear it on this side this side whatever side i have so i did four sections i have the section in the back then i have these two <laughs> sections on the side and then this one I'll, i'm going to start in the front just so i can show you the method that i used of course your hair needs to be really 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 well detangled so i usually go in with a white tooth comb and i have started using this brush so this is wet by pro brush i got this in december's curl box it was like an altar curl box so i use this as well and i don't mind if my pads are not straight because i don't usually wear my bantu knots outside so for me that's not an issue so let's start on this side and i'm not doing them very small Okay, let's see. So I just make sure that my hair is really detangled. That's the number one thing to do. So detangle using the twisted, the twisting cream that I showed you. So I'm just going to use a little bit of this. Then I go in with the brush. So I'm going to put this section that's going to be two um, sections. And my hair is still wet. It's not soaking wet. Um, because of course, for these bantu knots, the wetter they are, the longer it's going to take to dry. Um, and I have, I know a few people um, usually do them on like blow dried hair. I have actually never done them on blow dried hair. Maybe I'll give it a try one day, but usually I do it on like wet hair. And I just leave it for a good couple hours to dry. So I go in again with this brush. So I know for sure this is detangled. Then I usually do a twist. What I've learned when I'm doing my twist, of course you need two pieces. Let me start twisting. So I just go in and I just, I twist like normal. But this is one thing I have learned. Do not um, keep them separate. So don't take like pieces of hair from one side and put it over on the other side because that that messes up your hair when you're taking it down. So I just go, I just twist it, keep the keep the sections of hair separate. So you see like hair, like for me. I don't know if you can see this but you see like this section is longer than this one i don't borrow any hair i just go all the way down then when i get to the end i just give it a twirl then i go in now so 
another <laughs> another tip don't do them too tight because even though i love this style it is a pain <laughs> to sleep with this style that's the only thing i hate about this style is sleeping it's so uncomfortable so you don't want to do them too tight because one you're going to have a headache and then you don't want your hair to be pulling then you have to remember that you have to sleep on this unless you go under of course a dryer which i'm not going to do i'm going to let it dry overnight and then i have a full eight hour work day so it's going to be drying for maybe over 16 hours but just don't do them too tight once i have my two strand twist i just go i kind of twist it a little just to get the um the roots just a little tighter and let's see if I could come up close and then I hold it so I have let me see if you can see I have like this bit and I just twist it around and I just ensure that I do not unravel the ends yeah, and, and that's it so this is the first one I'm going in again I detangle multiple times <laughs> So I go in again with my brush, then two strands with, for this one I try to twist like away, so I'm twisting. Then I twist here, hold the root. I almost like create a little bump and then I just twist it. Yeah, and I just continue. sides off camera now I'm doing the top so I did these three already and what I am doing differently this time is as I said I don't want it to have like a defined side part when I took them out the last two times that I did it this year I almost had it like with a bang so this time around I'm actually braiding it or curling it in the direction so I am hoping that when I take it out, it just naturally falls that way. So the same thing, and look at how juicy these curls look. And the front of my hair is longer, so, oh my gosh, this is the section that hurts my hand the most. Was tempted you see like in this case this side is longer than this I'm always tempted to take some from the long side but I have to remember nope just braid the long side and then just do a twist see okay so for these sections I wrap them around my finger just to get the roots a little tighter and as you saw I usually kind of like create the cone shape and then I just twist it around itself and then I if it begins like unraveling then I just twist it back there we go let's do this one so I just hold it see like here then I just twist this as I go along to keep my curl Sometimes I just gonna loosen it up a bit. 
if it went if it was too tight i have done all of this This took me a little over an hour and what I've been doing is I've been using this Miel Moisture RX. This is the Hawaiian Ginger Line and it's their moisturizing scalp treatment. I just treat it as an oil <laughs> and I have just been going in once I am done. Let's see. It's so greasy. And just spraying. Oh, this thing is so greasy. I'm going to be drying it overnight and then for at least eight hours tomorrow so I will come back and show you the final results. I am back. It is now about 19 hours later so my hair is fully dried and as you can see some of my bantu knots are flat because of course I had to sleep on them but they're dry. They're pretty good so I'm going to take you along with me to take them down. Let me show you what I have. So I just have a pick. I have my the um, scalp treatment, the oil that I used last night. I don't think I'll need it, but I have it just in case. So let me start. I guess I should start in the front to show you. So to take them down, it's pretty easy. I literally just hold it and pull. Some of them, I usually have to loosen it up a bit, but just hold, pull, that's it. definition As you can see, I always have I always have one or two that's not unraveled, but I think I got everything. This is the definition of it. You see this one, the ends open. So 
previously, as I mentioned, previously I would leave them like this just because I was always afraid to um, take them apart even more. But when I leave them like this, it's like this, it would like after a few days the curls would basically just fall and then they would look <laughs> weird. So the um, two times that I did it this year, I started unraveling it and I liked how it looked because it made it fuller and it was nice and bouncy. So that's what we're going to do today. To take them apart, I just do it um, as my hair naturally falls. So let's start with this one, for example. So you see this? I just go. And that's so you see it just separated and that's what I learned when I mentioned just to keep the two pieces of hair um, separate don't overlap because then it gets tangled when you're undoing it so braided it to be separated even more and this is always the like nerve-wracking part for me because then once you start separating of course your curls are going to get bigger but you're going to get a lot of like frizz and the curl definition is going to be altered a bit but we're going to go for it I'm trying to keep it <laughs> together. So I just twist. Let me see it's back in place. And this is what <laughs> I'm trying to avoid. Of course, if it happens, it happens, but I think twisting it back into place kind of uh, prolongs the life. It curls. So I'm going to separate it some more. This is the final product definitely different than the hairstyles that i usually have but i absolutely love it so i try not to separate the curls too much in the front especially in like the bang area but i still have that i did separate it quite a bit 
but I tried not to separate it a lot. If you could see like right here, this one, this was one that it, it was a bit freezy. So I kind of tried to tuck it in, but this is the final product. I know it looks very what, like wig-like, <laughs> but I used my pick and I fluffed it a bit, especially in the back, because I didn't really want you to see the defined line, the part. So I did that, this piece I just need to tuck away. These are the curls. that's it for this video i really hope that you enjoyed it leave your comments in the comment section below as always thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one